Data security has always been important. In fact, it's no more important today than it's always been. But it's become more complex and time-consuming to manage now that technology is so central to the way we deliver health and care. These technologies provide fantastic opportunities, but by large, technology is designed for safe and effective use. We must ensure that we use it in a way that does not pose unacceptable risk to our business or to people in our care. The Trust has a duty to protect people's information in a safe and secure manner. Good information underpins good care. Patient and service user safety is supported when the confidentiality of personal information is maintained. Its integrity is protected against loss or damage and the information is accessible by those who are authorised. Everyone who uses health and care services should be able to trust that their personal confidential information is protected. People should be assured that those involved in their care and in running and improving services are using such information appropriately and only when absolutely necessary. By being mindful of good practice when handling information, staff members can help to ensure patients and service users remain safe and receive the best possible care. Mum, you all right? You just don't seem yourself today. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, love. I'm fine. Are you sure? Just a bit chilly. Right, come on, let's go have a cup of tea. Then. Good idea. So come on then. I know there's something wrong. Something niggling you. Well, well, hopefully it's nothing to worry about, but I had some tests done a couple of weeks ago at the hospital and I'm waiting for the results. And like I say, it's been a couple of weeks and they did say a week to 10 days and I'm not sleeping, I'm worried sick. Why don't you tell me? Well, I didn't want you to worry and I just thought it'd be all over and done with by now, but time's going on and I'm, I'm getting more and more worried as the days pass. Well, you know, because I work at hospital, I will check that for you. Well, it would be a relief, it really would. I'm going to check tomorrow, because I am really worried about this now. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want you to get in any sort of trouble. No, I'm going to do it. I'll be so relieved. Oh, that would be wonderful. On. Thank you. Data security can be broken down into three areas. Confidentiality, integrity and availability. Confidentiality is about privacy and ensuring information is only accessible to those with a proven record to see it. Integrity is about information stored in a database being consistent and unmodified. Availability is about information being there when it's needed to support care. Yes, good morning. Uh, my name is Mr. Stephen Broom um, from 19 Warburton Street at Leeds. Uh, I've received a letter from you this morning regarding a, a future appointment at the hospital. Uh, but also in the same envelope, and I'm a little bit concerned about it, is uh, somebody else's test results. The Trust takes breaches of confidentiality very seriously. 
In this circumstance, we would apologize to the individual both verbally and in written format, inform the other patient concerned and any regulatory bodies, ensure the recipient destroys the incorrect letter and the trust will ensure that the letter is reprinted and sent to the correct patient. Formally investigate the situation in line with the trust's policies and procedures. Negligent data breaches can result in conduct or disciplinary action. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. In health and care settings, we come into contact with various types of personal information. It is important to be able to identify these different types of information so that they can be appropriately protected when they are used and shared. Confidential information is information that patients and service users disclose in confidence to staff who are providing their health and care. Go on then, how she get? She seems to be okay. You know, she's uh, finding her own way. A bit quiet. Yeah, well, yeah, she's yeah, she's not asking a lot. She's just getting on and I think finding it out herself. So mm -hmm. yeah, just leave her to it. They expect that all of their information will be treated confidentially. It can include names and addresses, as well as a person's sensitive personal information, for example, health and care information. All health and care information is sensitive, but patients and service users may consider particular types of information to be highly sensitive. For example, information relating to their mental or sexual health. When emailing to multiple patients in one email, always check that the recipients cannot see who else the email has been sent to. When distributing various types of sensitive information to service users, care needs to be taken so that the right procedures are undertaken. Trust workers must always remain vigilant to avoid threats to data security. Those who want to steal data may use tricks to manipulate people to gain access to valuable information. This is called social engineering. So what time do we finish tonight? Thinking about four o'clock. Four o'clock, early finish, excellent. Fancy a few drinks after work. Definitely, I think there's a few teams out tonight. Maybe we could meet up with them. Social networking sites have opened up a whole new door for social engineering scams. Criminals are stealing passwords, hacking accounts and posing as friends for financial gain. Social media posts could give criminals an opportunity to access key information about how the trust operates from day to day. The best advice is to always stay vigilant and use common sense when using social media and accessing records at work. Keep records locked away and make sure you set passwords on devices like mobile phones, laptops and PCs. So have you booked your holiday yet? Yeah, we've booked it for July. Oh, but you can't wait. So is that seven days, yeah? Yeah, we're looking at possibly changing it to two weeks, though. Would you like a cup of tea, then? Yeah, please. Oh, good afternoon. afternoon. Uh, can you help me? I don't know if I'm in the right place. I've got a parcel for the Information Governance team. Oh, yeah, if you just bear with me two moments. Oh, OK. <laughs> Get everything you need. 
I did. Thanks very much for your help Thank now. You. Bye now. Hi, Helen. It's Mark here. I'm, I'm at the hospital. Are you okay? I've just seen something. What can be seen as an innocent request or occurrence at the office may result in information being viewed and misinterpreted. Information could also be given to criminal networks posing as staff or figures of authority. Care must be taken to ensure that the correct security measures are met and if in doubt, please notify the information governance team. Good morning. Um, I was wondering if you'd be able to help me please. I'm trying to locate a copy of my medical records. Hello, I'm ringing up from the local paper and I'd like to understand how much you spent on agency staff in the last year, please. Hello, I'm a matron from ICU. The police have just called and uh, they're wanting some information about a patient. They'd like to know how they access this, please. What we can take from this production is that good information underpins good care. By delivering excellence, we are underpinning our values and asserting our commitment to the Leeds way. This is who we are and what we believe. <laughs>